Productivity in VR without a physical keyboard can be unproductive. Using a physical keyboard works the best when working with office apps, surfing the web, and sending emails. Now, most people are good at typing enough to do 80 to 90% of their work without looking down at their keyboard. But in VR, if you can't see where the keyboard is or for shortcuts and macros, you need to be able to see your keyboard. In this video, I'm gonna share my first impressions of the Immerse VR's newest update, keyboard tracking and pass-through update. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed and if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I'm Ryan and this is The Elevate Project. Helping professionals like you working from home with home office tech and to be more confident and engaging delivering online presentations. Now I've been using Immerse VR inconsistently for the last two to three months and love using this app more than other apps for productivity working on my computer in VR. One main opportunity that stops me from using Immerse more has been using Immerse VR's keyboard overlay and not having proper keyboard tracking or pass-through options like Horizon Workrooms Beta. Now, if you're interested in seeing my thoughts on Horizon Workrooms Beta and their keyboard tracking, I will have the links to those videos in the description below. Now, Immerse just updated keyboard tracking and pass-through in a unique way. So let's jump in to the metaverse. All right, everybody, we are back in the metaverse and we are right into the immersed application. What's really nice that I wasn't able to show you before is the different environments that you can select if you are paying a monthly fee. There is the free version that gives you 360 degree picture. The environments just takes it to the next level. So if you can see around me here, like I look to my right, I look to my left. If I look down, it really gives you a nice feel of a different environment literally taking your senses to another place. Now, what we're gonna be talking about here is a quick update about two things. One is keyboard tracking and pass-through. Pass-through, I think, is the biggest thing for me, especially for my workflow, because I don't have a keyboard that is right now able to be tracked through the MetaQuest 2 and Immerse. So the only two keyboards that can be tracked right now is the Logitech Key 830 as well as the Apple Magic Keyboard. And for that to work, you do have to connect the Bluetooth keyboard to the MetaQuest 2, turn on tracking, and it will show up. Now this is something that you probably will see and which is really useful in Horizon Workrooms Beta. Now I do have a video and I'll put that in the link below what that tracking looks like. So what I'm gonna be really focusing on right now is the pass-through option. So you're able to see certain things in Immersed, which will make it a lot more useful. And secondly, full pass-through, which gives you a nice look at your environment. So let's take a look at that. And I'm gonna walk you through this because when I do turn on pass-through, I believe based on how I'm recording this, you'll only see blackness. You won't actually see the, the actual pass-through as I see it through the MetaQuest 2. That being said, I will have a link in the description below and show you a short video as well that is from Immersed, from their YouTube channel, that shows you really what that pass-through will look like through the eyes of the MetaQuest 2. to turn on pass through we're just going to put turn on our menu here here's the environments i was talking about gives you a, a nice selection what we're really interested in is this option here pass through so what's nice about this is you have full pass through so if i click on full pass through i'll be able to see my environment i still can see my virtual 
monitor, which is great. The only cool thing about this is now I can see what's around me if I have a coffee mug or I have someone entering the door. However, you may not want to have full pass through. You may want to enjoy the environment that's around you. And that's where the pass through portals comes in. So you have a selection of five different portals that you can have. So you have five different sections in your area. In the video that you may have saw or I might have just clipped in, I might clip it now, is that you can have one pass-through portal for your doorway. So when someone comes in, you'll be able to see them. Another portal for your controllers, so you can just quickly grab your controllers or have a big pass-through portal for your desk, kind of similar to Horizon Workrooms. Again, that link of tracking will be in the description below. And you can have another portal for your mouse, your keyboard, etc. So what I'm gonna enable right now is I'm gonna do two portals. And let's select that. So I have one portal here. Again, it might look black. And that is for my controller. So my controllers are right here so I can see them. And let's go to our pass-through option one more time. And I, I asked for two portals. Let's see where those two portals show up. So let's close this for now. This is one of the portals. Just to show you, you can move the portal when you unpin it. And you can change where you want to put this portal and also the type. So right now I have it spherical, but you can have it in rectangle. You can have it in a cube. But for me, I like the spherical. I think it looks cool. So I'm going to keep that there and I'm going to pin it because that's where I'm keeping my controllers. You can grab your controller. Again, you probably see black. I apologize about that. But let's go to our menu one more time. And let's do that. And let's go to pass through. Let's do the keyboard. And now I have this here in the bottom as well. This shows you where my keyboard's at. Again, you can change the size. You can make it any way you like that will fit your whole desk if you wanted to, depending on the keyboard that you have. My keyboard's a little bit wider because I do have the number pad. And then let's grab that other portal so we can see my mouse. So again, Right now, the way that I have it set up, I have my keyboard portal, I have my mouse portal over here, and I have a portal for my controllers. So pass-through is something that's really cool, something very useful, and will give me the opportunity to use Immersed even more than I do today. Now the keyboard tracking is currently for select keyboards, which I'm sure will grow as keyboards are requested and we see the popular keyboards people are using in VR. I will officially use this opportunity to request the support of the Logitech MX Keys, which is my keyboard of choice. That being said, the tracking is useful and works well enough for its first version. They still offer the keyboard overlay, which needs to be calibrated from time to time, and they offer pass-through portals, which is outstanding. Of course, looking into the MetaQuest 3 or a future Meta VR headset that may have color pass-through in the future would be ideal. But the idea and implementation is absolutely awesome. So that is the latest update from Immersed. If you found some value in this video, hit the like button. And if you like content like this one, consider subscribing and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you're notified when I release a new video. Thank you for watching, be safe, be awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one.